Don't put your faith in politicians. I never have. I never will. If we want to save this country, if we want to improve this country, it has to be us. It has to quit looking for someone other than yourself to improve this country. It starts with you, not with Donald Trump, not with Joe Biden, not with Nancy Pelosi, Mitch McConnell, it, Kanye West. It doesn't start with LeBron James. It doesn't, whatever billionaire you can think of, it doesn't start with them. It starts with you and it starts with us. And it starts primarily and most importantly with men. And so the mission, the vision for 2023 is to take this show, Fearless, that we've been doing for 18 months. We built up a nice following. We found the right contributors. I found the right soldiers. I found the right supporters and subscribers in you. But now we have to move from being passive viewers of the show that just watch the show. We can't even, we, we have to move from just being Jason Whitlock, host of this show, uh, Delano, TJ Moe, contributor to the show. We have to move beyond that to trying to raise up, elevate, inspire men to bear witness to a truth that I think many of us believe in, that Jesus Christ was sent here as our Lord and Savior, and we have to bear witness to that and not be silenced by our sin. Bearing witness requires courage, not perfection. And so my focus and the focus on the show in 2023 is going to be to start the movement, to take fearless from a show to a movement where men and women supporters, but primarily men, we want to gather together, encourage each other, learn from each other, socialize with each other, build a fraternity among us. And basically I want to pick up, I, 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 you know, I don't want to, I'm very authentic. I'm, I'm not, my ego's not wrapped up in this. I want to pick up where the promise keepers and Bill McCartney, the Colorado football coach that started the promise. Keepers, I want to pick up where they left off. They were very powerful in the nineties. We want to do that. We want to connect fellow believers, fellow people, biblical worldview people, we want to give you the confidence and the tools and the information and the support you need to stand on the truth spelled out in the Bible. And so in come April 15th, we're doing the first Fearless Men's Summit. We're calling it Roll Call. It will be the first of many roll calls. We're inviting you to Nashville to come fellowship with us, hear us speak. We're gonna break bread. We'll listen to some music. Myself, Anthony, Bobby Harrington, TJ Moe, Delano Squires, we're gonna speak. We'll have some performances, but it's gonna be our first gathering of calling you into this movement and asking you to join with us in promoting men who are willing to embrace a righteous life, not a perfect life, but we have to live more righteously. That's the only way we can combat this culture. If you think, oh, let me wait until I get perfect and then I'll join. No, I need you to join us and let God perfect you through the process. That's what Christianity is. It's not, well, once I get perfect, then I'll go. You know, once I quit cheating on my wife, then I'll go. Once I get my drinking problem under control or my weed problem under control or whatever my vice is under control, then I'll join. The process is bring all of your problems and vices to God. He will fix them. You will improve and you will get better. We want you imperfect. If you right now are watching this show, drunk and or high, you're exactly who I want to come to Nashville. 
as long as you believe in God, because God will take those vices up off of you. He will improve you, but you have to be willing just to be courageous, not perfect. Want you to join us April 15th here in Nashville as we transition from a show to a movement and to a, a tool used to inspire men to be better. <laughs>